and we are back. And uh, Adi has done some cool inventing. Um, and yeah, we we have got a, a thing. We were talking about the fact that there isn't a similar item called Ghost Oil that is a bit more higher tier. Um, and we were, we decided that that was based on the fact that it could do things that were not organic materials. Um, so um, if you want to wear your clothes, you probably don't want to have a metal belt buckle um while getting turned uh, while while going into into the ghost field for a moment because it's very embarrassing to like have your pants fall down while you're in the ghost field <laughs> um it's like, the, uh, it's like the teleportation device in the terminator movies why would the ghosts care because... none of them have pants right don't they well they have like weird projected self image, but like I, that, I highly that doubt usually that... includes weird projected self image of pants. Yeah, but like you couldn't like take their pants off them, right? Like they don't have. This way is especially pants. embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, um, you're being corporealist, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, who who has a feeling about their second their second action? Oh. Okay, that, I, I, yep, okay. Uh, Luke was so eager to do the second action that they nearly set themselves on fire. What, what, were you, what was your plan, Luke? Right, so here's the thing. There's a clock on my sheet. Yeah, there is. And I don't like it. Okay. So I'm going to do a long-term project to tug the clock backwards. Yeah, that long-term project roll. Yep, what is it? How are you going to do that? Well... Let me describe it to you. No, I think I think what this looks like um, is that like like Bell is um, like uh, like aware of the fact that they are being like lured in this way. Like they they have some consciousness of like the fact that that is going on, and so what they're doing to resist it is just like bolstering that like awareness of it and knowledge of it and like conscious resistance mm -hmm. and so i think they go uh out drinking in <coughs> in like in both in like charter hall and in that section of six towers like around uh grandma's shop mm -hmm. like they go on they go on a bit of a like drinking tour um but they don't drink a lot and they just like collect gossip like they basically just pull up in in pubs and they're like they find the corner where all the like old spooky looking people who probably will know good ghost stories and they're sitting there like cool I will buy you around if you all tell me your scariest story about the Dimmer Sisters. Ooh, I like it. And they're just like warning themselves off, like getting too caught up in all this bullshit by being like, no, remember the Dimmer Sisters. They're lovely. They're very nice. Like their house is very nice. I love their dolls, but like also they are dangerous oh yeah Good focus job. bell they're dangerous too mm -hmm. do we want to update derek on what your clock is because oh, yeah. oh yeah oh yeah um. well uh <coughs> i have the i have a clock now uh that is called lost to the dimmer sisters um and is about yeah like the fascination of their house now that we have access to it because we're all best friends just like becoming too much and me being like drawn and lured into that like weird spooky world of ghost bullshit beyond beyond return specifically yeah. yeah and i think and i think oh yeah 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 i think one of the people that i uh hang out with and learn about it from is my friend uh, Nyrix, who is a possessor ghost. Let me just. I wanna. I wanna reacquaint myself. Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and I think like, and I, I don't think this is intentional. I think it's just that like, at one of these pubs, Nyrix just so happens to be like hitching a ride in the body of some random motherfucker yep mm -hmm. and when i'm like hey everyone like free cool drinks for anyone who's got spooky stories narix is like great a way to get free drinks all night i'm gonna get this buddy drunk yeah exactly it'll be fucking hilarious in the yep. morning 
Yeah, just get get the body drunk, bail before the hangover sets in. Narek knows what's up. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so I am. Uh, yeah, I think I'm consorting. Uh, that's I think that's what this long term project mm-hmm. action is. Uh, and I, <coughs> I am doing it with a contact, which is Nyrex, who's mm-hmm. on my sheet. So I get plus one die, mm-hmm. and we'll see what happens. And I put my I put a second dot in consort with my resolve advance from last session. Great. So I'm now at two dice. What happened? I can't see. Uh, you got a five. That's all right. Yeah. It's like what two ticks? Uh, five. Is, yeah, two ticks on a, on a clock. I'll take it. Um, cool, cool, cool. I'm just checking a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, did we roll entanglements last time, or did we leave that? I yeah, I'm just trying to remember. I don't think we did. I believe we left that for when Derek was back. That's right, we did. So yeah, cool. So um, take your take your clock, Luke. But um, yeah, would then... you like me to roll, click entanglements on the sheet, and roll that? I would as well? love you to click entanglements on the sheet. And now we have a crew name to do it with. Oh, this is yeah. so exciting. Let's see what happens. Great, awesome. And we have heat one, don't we? Yes, uh, we do. Uh, sorry, uh, wanted one. Yeah. Yes. Great. I will go and look at that on the sheet. Yeah, it's it's yeah. We've got heat. We're in the heat zero to three range, mm-hmm. and we rolled one die because we're at wanted one. Um, cool, cool, cool. Um, well, it, yeah. Does anyone have another one that they would like to do while I'm looking up problems? I have one. I'm mm-hmm. happy to do. Um, so. <clears throat> I would like to go and find Stev, um, if I can, mm-hmm. probably in the old bar to see if I can find him there because um, I have the head cannon now that he, what, like, just goes there all the time now because it's the only time he ever sees me and he's just hoping that I'm going to come by because he doesn't know oh, where yeah. else to find me. <laughs> oh, definitely. That's definitely a thing. <laughs> um, so I'd like to go there and uh, find Stev and um, I imagine he comes up and is like, you know, excited to see me and wants to know what exciting adventure we're having today because every time I visit him here, I never actually stay here. I take him out and we drink better whiskey elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because I don't really want to have my conversations with him surrounded by other blue coats. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to uh, suggest that we go for a walk um, and I'm going to even humor him by, like, holding his arm in like a really like heteronormative disgusting way that Nightfall's really not into, but that Stev is very, very into. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to firstly try to kind of build up that relationship a little bit more. So working towards my goal of making him a contact. Um, and in that process, I'm, what I'm looking to do is find out something, even if it's irrelevant to me and what I'm doing, um, about the blue coats movements and plans and patrols or anything that might be useful because I also have the intent of taking that information to Salia in the hope of improving our relationship also. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like aggressively flirt with Stev, find out some info, take that info to Salia, also improve that because we've currently got some weirdness going on. With us. Sure. Um, yeah. You're yeah. awful. I love it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That's why I'm the spider. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to look at your sheet real quick. Can I offer you a devil's bargain, Alana? Maybe. <laughs> you could offer it. I might not take Which is this, because I think this would be full of drama. I hate well, it already. Rem- yeah, rem- remember that like um, pretty lovely young boy whom you slept with? Yes, I do remember Not him. Only, only one downtime action ago? Yes, Edlund. Yon- Precious Yon- Edlund. What if Edlund uh, is Stev's brother? <gasps> yeah. Luke. You, you don't have to take it, Alana, but... Is the fact that the game I have GM'd the most in the last span of time, Monster Hearts, is it showing? 
Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. Your monster hearts are showing, Luke. I'm gonna take it. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. And cool. like right. to, to to make that concrete. Like I think there should maybe be like a clock. That's like that Steph is. finds out that you slept with his brother or something. Or Edlin finds out or that Edlin you're finds dating out. One Steph. Of them finds out. Yeah, it's called. It's called the truth gets out. Yeah. I think we need to have a clock. I don't think it's ticked anything yet, but oh no, we we yeah. tick it one step. Um, I, I the, mean, we, the... we choose as part of the devil's bargain how yeah much we start it ticked. Yeah, I mean, I feel I like, like I feel like, like a six clock feels nice for once. that. Yeah. Six clock ticked once. Does that feel? How does that feel for you, Alana? <laughs> Terrifying, but I'm here for it. Okay, so check a check a Stev Stev or Edlin find out. They both find out. <laughs> they both find out. Yeah. You've also they both, been they both find with you their sleeping mother, with, and they both, all find out. They all find you sleeping with Salia. <laughs> That's fine. At least then I'm sleeping with Salia. Uh, anyway, yeah. So yes, Salia's actually their sister. Whoa! <laughs> no, Is everyone in this goddamn place related? Only everyone you sleep with. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so yeah. So long term project big family. Long term projects clock. Um, you're trying to advance uh, <laughs> one of them. You're going to try and tick back the one with Salia, or are you going to try and advance the one with Stav? So I have a bonus action because I'm a spider. You're going to do both of them? So I'm going to do both of them. Sounds mm. good. Let's, let's, okay. So let's do the one with Stav first. So for Stav, I'm thinking... Like, is it a consort because he's a contact or like a like a person of I know, or is he? Is it sway because I'm using charm? Probably sway, because I'm using charm to try and get information from him. The the one thing I would say is that at least to my gut feeling, one of the differentiating factors between sway and consort is the like the scale of the scene. Like, Sway is like, in this one moment, I tell a lie. Whereas Consort is like, we hang out for three hours. Okay. And well, this then feels, I think it's Consort. I, it's very me, much hang out for, yeah. Yeah. For oh. me, that edges it towards Consort, but really it's up Yeah, to that's, that's yes, my wait. feeling as well. It's your choice, but yeah. Hovering over them, it was difficult because one of them's like, Consort with contact or connections. And the other's like, flirt and charm and blow. And I'm like, well, like, I'm doing both of those yeah. things. And mm. So yeah, cool. Cons consorting has that thing of like, yeah. Length of, of being time. the longer longer term. It's it's montagey in a yes. way that consort is, consort is a very montagey move. Okay, well then, I will. Do in that. the same way that like study is often very montagey, mm, where survey again often isn't. Oh uh, yeah, survey is often very very in the moment. So it's risky standard. Yep. Do I get a bonus die because of the devil's bargain for? Yes, you do. Okay. Do I get that in? So is it just this one that I'm getting that for? That's I have, for this one. I can one. come up with another devil's yeah. bargain. Another yeah. one if you like This one was about oh, Stev cool. specifically. Yeah, cool. All right, so that's a four is my highest. Cool, great. Uh, you tick it to, you tick your, your, your Stev clock too. Yay! It's two o'clock on the Stev clock. Now what window will we look through today? The thing I love is that it's eight, it's an eight clock to get Stev as a contact, but it's a six clock for him to work out that I also slept with his brother. Like that's, that's so yeah. mean. Well, because no, because that will get him as a contact. It will just get him as a down arrow contact. Yeah, that'll get him as a-, as a <laughs> Yeah, as, you'll as get a, him as a contact. I hate everything really, about this. Really, the smart move would be to just go straight to, the, would just be to fill the six clock deliberately. <laughs> and then, and then like, and then- Just go and tell Edlin, be like, hey, yeah. guess what? Oh dear. Cool, awesome. Do you want to do you want to see how you go with uh, with Tick and Salia back into your good grace uh, into like? Uh, let's do that as well. So go and visit Salia. Um, so what information would I have learned from that exchange? Um, you yeah, I mean you're learning about blue coat uh um blue coat uh, blue coat movements mostly. Yeah, uh, Devil's Bargain. Uh, lots of blue coat movements around your uh, around like um your lair. Like lots she, of blue she already members. took a devil's bargain. You can't take two. This is a new. This is a new role. This I think is... it sounds like Alana is asking, like, what, 
what was the outcome of the previous roll? Yeah, that sorry. Is what I'm yeah. Um, yeah. Stev, Stev is going. Stev is going to tell you that, um, like, because this is mostly about getting Stev on side. Mm. Um, but yeah, he definitely, uh, he definitely gives you like he he gives you this thing of like, um, oh shit, I've got to. I'm sorry, I I just realized I need to look something up for this because it's important. Um, who is yeah, before I go and tell Sally what the deals are? I'm just trying to work out what information I actually learnt to pass on. Yeah, yeah. I'm who is gonna, Sally oh, no, again? We lost. Um, Sally is my information broker. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just I couldn't remember what the description was. Yeah, no worries. Da, 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 da. Does it say where she's? Sorry, I'm just looking up a thing from last mission. Um, because that doesn't tell me the zone she's in. Fuck. Does anyone remember what? Uh, so it's not. Uh, like where the lady we hang well, out lady with? Drake, lady, well, no, Lady Drake. Is she Charter Hall or is she Six Towers? I think she's Charter Hall. She's Charter Hall. Okay. So there's been a lot more. So, so the, 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 the number of, um, of like arrests and prosecutions in Charter Hall has jumped up significantly recently. Um, that was us. Yeah. Um, and specifically, like spooky ones, right? Like. Uh, people are being pro uh, people are being like the blue coats are being uh, are having to deal with a lot more um uh, a lot more uh uh with the spirit wardens and stuff because uh, which they hate because um they are uh, because they're being like directed to to like look for um dangerous non spooky shit like dangerous spooky shit yeah <laughs> As opposed to just Excellent. like, did did someone get in a fight and like do a murder? They're like, did they do a murder with a ghost, right? Like, um, so it's easier to take bribes from living people. Yes, it's like there's no way to there's no way to profiteer. Yeah. Off so so, been, so, that, so that's that's what you found out, right? Like, Excellent. Charter Hall is suddenly a place where it's a lot harder to to do. For, for like to do like minor ghost related crimes right like um a whole bunch of people have been arrested for um willingly letting themselves be possessed um by ghosts and stuff like that so yeah i feel like on the same page that it would be an easier location to do non-spirit related yes. crimes because the blue co coats there are a distracted and b desperate for a good bribe <laughs> yeah 100 percent. yep that's definitely true Cool. All right. Well, I would like to be able to pass that information on to Salia. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. In the hope that it will bolster our relationship um, professionally and I don't know, Intimately. one day personally. <laughs> yep. Uh, and I... so yeah, the devil's bargain well, that I had for for the Salia one is that there's also a bit of information where you're like, oh, they're very much focusing on the northern northern edge of Charter Hall. That's weird. Where where are our bases? That would be bad. I'm just going to observe. That's that's Here one devil's bargain. Devil's bargain. We start a new clock. This clock is called. Salia has dirt on you. So like you guys are getting closer, like sure, and the distance is closing, but also like you're letting all this personal information slip. And whether you trust your information broker or not, probably you shouldn't let them have information about you. Oh, come on. I don't let her have information about me. I just want to sleep with her. I mean, I'm not an idiot. Like that news in and of itself is incriminating about us in certain, like to someone who knows enough information, the fact that you know that betrays certain things. That's true. But I also feel like this isn't the first time I have given her information. And it's also not the first time she's given me information in return. Like we trade in information instead of currency. And I don't oh, yeah. think that, uh... Yeah, I think, so I, think, I think the reason that, that Luke's suggesting this is that she might be like, she might she's, have put she's you on. putting it together. She's, like... she's, rather than just like dismissing things, like, you know, now that you she's like, eh? you know, kind of giving you a bit of the side eye, she's like, wait a minute. And like putting things together where she wasn't previously. Is the is the suggestion for the clock? Yeah, yeah. Um, but either yeah, of those like, are devil's bargains you could take, or you could take none. Yeah, I just guess like I think Ashes makes more sense in my brain than Luke's purely because I don't think that she is the kind of person to like yep. like she's getting information from so many sources. She doesn't want to question where that is coming from, so long as it's reliable. Um, mm, yeah, kind of thing. Like everyone she deals with is a criminal. There's no like kind of surprise that there's dirt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Yep. Sounds good. Um, 
now I need to decide whether or not. See, like, is the devil's bargain that there is, in fact, more movement or that I've been told that there is or because, like, so maybe the there is The devil's bargain movement. is that there is more movement. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, which, maybe which, there is more movement. I just wouldn't have been told if not. Like, that, 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 that there is that, that like, that, mm, like, this okay. sudden reinterest in uh, in spooky stuff means that they've been like, there's more spooky stuff at the northern half of Charter Hall. Yeah, which would look like, Ash, like, what, like a clock for them, like, figuring out our shit and sending a crew to our lair? It would be... Would it just make it more difficult to smuggle or to get yeah, in? Yeah, I think... Or... Um, I think I would start a clock. Yeah, because um, like devil's bargains are typically like one, one, one and done type mm-hmm, affairs. Mm. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to. We don't want to like keep a track of it, um, unless we're keeping track of a clock. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna say that I would start a clock. I would call it uh, at least an eight clock. I think that seems. And it's uh, called your nicked. Uh, and it, yeah, it's like it, it's like. You know that, like the blue coats know where your lair is, basically. Yeah, we're burned. Yeah, that's is terrifying, that, that and I'm work? not going to take that. Sure. Um. All right. <laughs> fuck that. Fuck that devil's bargain. Is is my opinion. Um. I'm just going to go for it and hope for the best. Mm-hmm. Um. Good thanks. I'm going to need it because Salia just it doesn't work out. You can for me very you often. can push yourself a dice on a um. Are you just that sounds foolish or you could spend coin uh to up your result afterwards after the roll yes you can do that also if you want to be like salia look at this bribe i have for you uh, <laughs> would you look at this bribe i wrote down the information on a really fancy nice paper with my best handwriting yeah exactly yeah <laughs> the really fancy paper is in fact money <laughs> all right oh there was something else uh, in that envelope how clumsy uh, of me uh, oh. Ooh, yeah. Did I roll you wanna... like shit with her. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to pay money to bump it up? Yeah, Cause... I'm gonna spend a coin. All the right, dice so... are saying you're not meant to be. Yep. All right. So a so that bumps you up. So they get you get to clear two from that that clock. Well, that makes it empty. Excellent. Good job. So <sighs> yeah, Salia is Salia is this is what what is it that you bribe her with that is so effective? Alcohol. Okay, just boost. A nice bottle really good of whiskey. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't go with whiskey this time. It wasn't very effective last time. No, she's not just actually. <laughs> yeah, she. I mean, I think that I think the thing about Salia is that, like, yeah, she did, she doesn't like anything that's like too rough. It's probably like a fine wine or something, which is extremely, mm-hmm. extremely like fancy or because like or like gin or something. Gin is easier to come by. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Like the like. Yeah, like, because <coughs> you can make it out of things that don't need, like, sunlight. Like mushrooms. Yeah, mushroom, mushroom gin. Mushroom gin, yum. Mm. Cool, excellent. A well-known delicacy of grandma's shop. So, yeah, there's there's totally this thing of, like, uh, of like Salia, be, uh, Salia being, like, of being like, are you trying to make up to me for something? Oh, can't I just, you know, bring about some, some nice information and some good gin on a, on a lovely day? Yeah, like this, things have been weird. Okay, like I just don't want things to be weird anymore. Just drink, just drink the gin. Just she's, it's fine. She's like, she's like, <laughs> drink, drink the damn she, gin. She, she, yeah, she she <laughs> takes a shot and is like, uh, uh, and is like, no more weird. No more weird. Now tell me about uh, now tell me about this uh, Stev. And you're like, oh. <laughs> <that> <laughs> Stev is a contact that I have recently acquired, and uh, I'm going uh-huh. to be able to find you some more. Uh, Lovely blue code information, so long as that one stays good. So if you need something, let me know. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Uh, hey, Alana. Um, yes. I think it's. I think it's like when you're when you uh, like a couple of days later, Stev. Uh, Stev is like like catches you in the street somewhere, right? And it's like it's just like I just thought you should know that uh, someone said something about. Um, there's apparently a crew of like spooky people around here that uh that the that are evading uh investigation and it sounded like some of the stuff you might be involved in and and apparently a bunch of the senior a bunch of the like older blokes in the in in co- in the blue coats are uh 
they're really frustrated by the fact that you're uh, you're you're doing all this spooky stuff while uh, while Lady Lady Grey is trying to get trying to crack down on it. They're finding it really frustrating, and I was just thought you shouldn't let thought I should let you know that maybe maybe you could grease some pockets or something because that would be probably helpful for you right now. I'm just I'm letting you know because I care about you. I don't know what you're talking about. What spooky stuff? I don't do any spooky stuff. Cool. Whatsoever. Cool. And it's like, well, you just, you mentioned have like that, like having seen a ghost that time. And I was like, oh, yeah, that, you know. Yeah, yeah, that one time that I saw a ghost. Haven't we all just seen a ghost one time? Everyone's like, seen ghosts. Yeah. Every, like you haven't said anything. He's just, he's just like being like, I, I just, okay, cool. Good. Great. Well, I'm glad yeah, that you're not you're like, anything. You're like, I have no idea about spooky stuff. Smash cut too. All of us drinking in the ritual. Horrible <laughs> voice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, he's I, okay. In which case, he might not mention that it's you specifically, but I think he just says, like, you know, um, if you have any friends that are into that sort of stuff, they might want to, like, grease some palms because the uh, the entanglement that you rolled was uh, was the one, uh, was uh, Rivals, where a faction that is currently neutral to you, the Blue Coats, uh, is, is not is throwing their weight around in the area that you're in. Uh, so you can either pay them a rep or a coin per tier, the, uh, uh, per um, per their tier, or you can stand up to them and lose a status and just be like, no, nah, fuck you. Yeah. The only thing we grease the palms of pigs with is their blood. Cool. You and you and your pigs, you have a strange obsession. <laughs> Look, only good Bell, pig is a Bell, is a Bell, ghost Bell is pig. A union, yeah, Bell is a unionist. Doesn't have a lot of good feelings about cops. Okay, like I just mean like you stole a pig. You have a ghost pig friend now. Like like I don't. I can't. I'm gonna turn. You. I'm gonna turn the cops into pigs. Um, yeah, I'm working on a ritual. It's ridiculous. You know? that. <laughs> Every blue coat in the city, they're all gonna turn into pigs. Okay. All right. It's going to cost me a lot of stress, but that's fine. And I deal with my Stev problem. <laughs> problem or Stev, buddy. Um, yeah, he doesn't realize his he doesn't realize his uh, his current love interest is a is a manipulative criminal. Um, they often don't. All right, so we're not we're not paying them off. I'd be open to paying them off, but that's just me. It seems like everyone else is is yeah. is not into paying. Happy to go with the crew. Giving giving True. cops money. Well, mostly because like minus one status is not really that bad. No. Yep. Cool. Like if cops are cops are like minorly out to get us, that just makes us like marginalized people in anywhere a country with cops. Yeah. Like yeah, it makes us on par with the rest of the population. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Honestly, it's unrealistic that we're at zero status with them. Well, now we're not, so good job. Nice. I care about historical accuracy in my fantasy role-playing games. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was that was uh, poor hmm. taste. Um, uh, who has another action they'd like to do? Mm, I want to find Eckert. Eckert, who is the corpse thief, yeah. who stole the corpse of my, uh, my mother. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm going to get Corin to help me by which I mean, I'm going to accost Corin and force Corin to tell me where Eckert is and take me to him. Ooh. How are you going to force that? I'm so looking forward to Mm-hmm. I think it's like, um, after the soup incident, right? So we're just sort of <laughs> hanging out somewhere. <laughs> and then Adi sort of like leans over and then like, Collars you, which is humorous because a D is tiny and Corin is like a Severonian giant comparatively. And a D is like, now that you've eaten of the soup of my family, we can have a good proper chat about a friend of yours, I hear. Uh, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit behind where where is this who is this friend and how do i know them okay so, so you 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 bought the the pig condom thing off of a guy in night market 
the pig condom. Yes, that's right. Yes, I remember. Yeah, I love Alana's face. What? <laughs> I mean, Alana, Alana, the pig Alana was we like... were young and we needed the money. <laughs> <laughs> the pig was like 500 kilos. There was no way we could have dragged it. We needed a porcine prophylactic that we could grease up that would let us slide it smoothly along the ground after the look. It, was, it was basically just like, a, it was basically a lubricated sleeping bag for a pig. Yeah. I it, hate it, everything about this. It made so much sense <laughs> to us at the time. At the time. This is what happens when you don't have your spider, just everything goes to shit. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Th I mean, like this. Were, this was specifically as a result of uh, of like Corin trying to do spider type things. <laughs> we're locking our mastermind. It's time to create a pig condom, a ginormous. Pig I. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Look, yes. Condom is is maybe a, a nomenclature that we should probably avoid. It was basically a body bag. That's it was a body bag for a pig. Yes. It was the fact that it was lubricated that gave it the, that gave it that name. It was moist. Mm -hmm. In any case, yeah, you bought it off my mortal enemy. <laughs> um, I want answers. That's right. We all want answers. So last week, Derek, I tried to find Ek. I started this clock and I got only one in it. So I tried to find his stall in the night market, but it like um, moved, or like we, we went. I wasn't able to find him, um, and so I. I think Adi felt like the only way she was going to find this person was through you, because you, you obviously know this person. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, can I hunt him down? Is I have a, I have a uh, skill in hunt. Yes, let's both hunt him down. Well, yeah. So, um, V V has the clock, and so yep. V is using. Uh, so, so a D has the clock, and so a D will yep. have to roll an action. If, okay. Uh, if yeah. a D wants to, if a D wants to spend an, a, a downtime action progressing it. Yep. But I one so. thing that one thing is that, like, just because it's on your sheet doesn't mean that someone else can't like spend a downtime action progressing your clock for you. Derek could also spend a downtime action progressing the clock. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Cool. Yeah. So let me roll my one um, first, and we'll see how how well our start. I search starts, I guess. Yep. Um, bra -bra -bra -bra. um I think you've got an extra dice because you've got someone helping you. It's it's Karen. Sorry. So um is this like a study survey or like is it that's that's what i i would like to ask all right yeah, yeah good question yes um i don't know v is yeah <laughs> is oh, I, was, it... I was pulling that on carrie in uh dungeon board yesterday can i cast the spell i don't know carrie can you <laughs> um i think it's gonna be, i'm gonna i'm gonna roll a consort actually like because i think what we did we start first is to hang out with like um so i guess um corin is helping by taking a d to like the usual like uh -huh. um meet up or you know the, the crew that um this guy hangs runs with yeah and cool. so we're just spending time together and like trying to like ask questions about uh -huh. so i'm gonna roll that also like you're consorting with corin yeah exactly so uh, with one bonus dice. Uh -huh. Sorry. So there you go. Five. So that's uh, that's two ticks. And once again, you can spend coins to increase ticks if you like. Uh, so if it, if it gets to a six, how many do I get? Uh, a six is three. Three. And a critical is... Uh, so if you spent two coins, it would bump it up to a critical. Can you do that? Yeah, it would get you to five. <gasps> it would get me to five. How much money do we have? <laughs> I don't know. You'll have your money on your sheets, I hope. We have one each. Uh, each person has one of their own uh, minus whoever's spent the, this session. Yeah, so I and spent we got three on the crew sheet. But so... if possible, I would like to conserve that crew stuff. Yeah, you don't want because we have twelve reps, and so like one good score will put yeah. us where we can go up a tier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And how much coin do we need to go over to? I think we need eight. You need a lot. Eight coin. You need wow. A lot. Okay. All yeah, right. That's need, fair. Eight, and we currently have. I'll just take the two ticks then. Yep. Yeah. I will sure. just take five it. or six. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And even a medium job, you know. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Good job. Um. Yeah. So yeah, you, we see you um in night market where someone is like gutting a bat, and they're like, "It's like Eckerd, haven't seen it, uh, haven't seen him in, uh, haven't seen him in months. Don't know what you're talking about." And then there's like a glower from uh, uh from the uh, from the Severosi, and it's like, <laughs> oh, "I might have heard he, where he might have been though." Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you tell me that, and I'll tell you how to properly gut a bat. And he's like, yeah, it's like, uh, and we, we, I think we close on that, right? Like we, um, of like, of him being like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, cool. Um, he looks down like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, right. It's that thing of, is that, is that thing from Game of Thrones where it's like, you know, the like, uh, uh, it's like, no, there's like a really simple way to do it. Um, yeah, cool. Um uh because bats flip inside out ne really neatly or something i don't know um uh it's like with a rabbit you can just <laughs> yeah exactly yeah um so yeah corin did you you've got two left i think i do yes uh and i have an idea and it's rather risky but the one contact of mine that we haven't really come across yet is mercy ah <laughs> yeah and Mercy is a cold killer, and I'm going to say that she's a cold killer for hire. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and I have a problem with Grace, my other contact, in that I need to get money, a lot of money, to pay her off. Uh-huh. So I'm going to go to Mercy and offer my services to help her on her next job. This went a completely different direction to what I thought. <laughs> for a cut. No, I'm thinking about that too. I am thinking about that too. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. Um, I'm going to go and, go and work for some coin. Yeah, I think then, so. And then pay off Grace. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's see what you're... So, yeah. Um, like, so there's definitely a scene with, like, Mercy being, like, uh, being, like, I mean, like Corin, you know, like you, you, like you, you find her in wherever she's, wherever she's lurking, and she's like, Corin, oh, it's never. It, it, she's like, it's lovely to see you, but it's never a good sign. You're muted, Derek. It is not different this time either, my friend. Mercy, I, uh, how's business? Yeah, she's like, business is thriving. You would not believe the number of people in this city that want someone killed. It's a growth market. It, it is. Uh, I find myself in need of some extra coin and... I was wondering if you could swing me some of your business. Um, she's like, well, you certainly come at the right time. I've got a couple of jobs that I was wondering about because, uh, because uh, you might be the exact person that I need. Um, I mean, obviously, you understand my skill set, and I'm not the subtlest of fighters that was my problem um and she said and she says i need some uh, uh i have some uh, uh i have a couple of jobs where uh a bit of a show is required uh she's like uh, she's like uh, and she she totally like walks up and slaps you and then like stops and like studies your reaction like right like she's like uh, uh, she's like you know, waiting to see what happens when she, when she, yeah. Can I, uh, can I catch her hand before she slaps me? Yeah, and she's like, no, 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 and no, And can no, I no. push her up against a wall and maybe get a bit close? 
Right. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, wow. Again, directions I wasn't expecting. <laughs> All right. Roll to turn someone on, please, Derek. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, she's like, uh, she's like, this isn't the kind of performance I was looking for, but I'm sure that can wait. I let go of her hand and step back a bit. And she's like, she's like, uh, she says, uh, um, uh, I think, I think she says, um, uh, she said, I think she, she just tells you, um, um, in Dunslough, there is a, um, uh, there is a, uh, there is a man who has been, uh, who has been making, uh, who has been making some comments about one of the uh, one of the wealthier farm owners that are not, that are not appreciated and uh, and have been uh, and have been a little bit too popular he needs to get into a fight and he needs to lose and it needs to uh, and it, there need to be some tragic outcomes uh sorry where was it again in in dunslow yeah in dunslow dunslow so sort of a a permanent type injury or just a a morally uh depressing beatdown um and and she said uh, and she's like I, I think she says uh, she says um as long as um uh as long as everyone uh, everyone uh, understands that he uh, understands the kind of brute he is, and that no one should be listening. But if we have to send our condolences to his family, I, uh, um, that is perfectly within uh, that is perfectly within my uh, my business aptitude. Very well. And what is the what is the value of this? Yeah. So here's the thing, um, Derek. This can be a job that we run. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or you can just be like, or you can just roll it off as as, as like a single thing that Corin is doing towards paying off Grace on his own. It feels like we've got something else in mind for our, our next sure. gig. Luke. So yeah, so yeah, tell me what action you're using to do the job. Yeah. Well, she says I'm thinking it'll give you an amount of coin. Yeah, right. It's <laughs> it, yeah, it's it, it's based on how much you roll. So right. yeah, because this is specifically okay. for paying off Grace. So it's, it's so the money amount is not is non-specific. So uh, yes, I, I think what we're talking about here is a a skirmish. That sounds that sounds very reasonable to me. Yep. Is it maybe a rat? It, it could be either. Right. Is my be... is I also just want to put out there. I am better at at skirmish than I am with wreck. Also, I feel I, like wreck would be wreck would wreck would be more sympathetic to him, right? Because he would look like a victim. Mm, oh, true. maybe. Whereas skirmish, it look it looks like a fair fight that he. Oh, but yes. we're wrecking his it reputation. Fa- <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. This is a, yeah. This is this isn't uh, this isn't the republic. I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's let's roll your skirmish and see how many dots you put on that clock because you could you could All pay right. Grace off today if you're if you're lucky. Risky, risky standard. Yep. Not lucky. One one tick. <laughs> one tick off of the payoff Grace clock. Okay. I mean, you do still have a downtime action. You could do another job you for Grace. You could do another job for Grace, uh, for, for, Mer- uh, for Mercy, if you wanted to. Yeah, that's what you were doing off screen. You were just doing a bunch of small jobs. Small murders. <laughs> yeah, we get it. We get a, like, um, there's a filler episode that's just like uh, Corrin's, Corrin's, like, very bad day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and it's got a cheesy guitar soundtrack. It's yeah. like the Tales from Bossing Say episode of Avatar. Yeah. 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 Like every so often, uh, we just have a downtime episode. So random. <laughs> of the anime. Yep. Filler episodes. Um, so yeah, you could do another one to try and to try and pay off Grace some more. You could uh, you could do a thing to try and help find Eckert. Uh, Eckert. Um, so this is, we're only waiting on me now, right? Because I'm the only person who's three down. As a, yeah, I think everyone else has done all theirs, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't. Yeah. 
I don't know how much I want to get myself involved with with mercy. I'm I'm doing all right on paying off grace, but I might just I might just do some hunting and see if I can find Eckert. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. What does that look like? How are you, how are you? Uh, I'm I'm slowly uh, but deliberately working my way through Night Market. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Uh, I you know I I just wanna I don't wanna draw too much attention to myself. It's not a shakedown. It's more of a wander around, pretend I'm shopping and buy a few things and see if I can uh, inquire about the stuff that I know he usually sells. Mm -hmm. Yep. Looking for a big pink condom has to be lubricants. Yeah, also bodies. Yeah, yeah looking for some. Bodies in. You're uh, like posing as a like a doctor from one of the charter hall medical schools, and you're like, oh yeah, we need some corpses for the dissection yeah. lab. <laughs> so yeah, what, what do you? Is this hunt? Is this consort? Is this what? What do you feel like it is? I feel like this is this is kind of a hunt. This mm. is like a psychological kind of serial killer hunt. I feel like he's 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 hiding from something, and I'm trying to slowly draw him out mm -hmm. sounds cool let's let's see how many ticks you you put on that uh no bonus die no risky, risky uh standard. yeah risky standard and um doesn't sound like you've got anything specific for bonus die yeah. i have a devil's butt oh shoot I, I don't actually. <laughs> it just look like saying that they have a devil's I, bargain. Look, I, I, had, I, had, <laughs> I had like a, a half-baked idea that just flitted into my head, but it wasn't well thought through. So. Uh, right. Adi, mark an extra tick on the on the Eckerd clock. Here's so, a... That's not a fail? No, 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 no. So, so the reason is, so when, when it's a, when it's a progress, when it's a... Um, a long term a long term project you it, the, the result is to see how much progress you make. So okay. a failure is one, uh, a three, a four or a five. The like the semi is two, and then um, a success is three, and then a critical is five. So, at this point, I'm considering like I know we spoke about not using the bunny, but <laughs> Adi has also got obsessed as her um oh yeah paranoia right. mm -hmm. sorry trauma um and we like I think it was established that the like obsessed was obsessed specifically about with Eckerd like yep with Eckerd so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as like a, a sort of self compelled to take the money mm -hmm. essentially and uh, use that to help this like finding Eckerd like she, uh, as Corin is like trying to find it it's suddenly like there's like money being put in like a lot of money in for this corpse um so gonna, can i yeah uh can i propose the alternate version of that yeah because it, most of the downtime stuff that involves coin we can also do with rep yeah oh yeah cool all right and that so is a thing that we are like practically full up on yes we'll probably, let's spend we can rep. one rep back in the next job i hope yeah 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 right that's cool yes so some sort know. of payment some sort of yeah, like extra like thing we, to bump that we up. lean on some people who like know us and owe us favors we don't yeah. like Arms, which mm -hmm. is cool. Yeah. So, do you want to spend two rep instead of two coin? If that's okay, to bump it up, and then I'll take. Cool. We find Eckerd. Yeah. Yay. Cool. Well, um. So then we, we have a murder him. here. Um. And I eat his ghost. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sorry. Do I uh, tick? insight because of those two actions or no so you were no. what you were doing was you were ticking a clock that clock is happens to be on on Adi's sheet so um you have uh you have ticked that forward for <laughs> Adi um let me just check a thing that I want to make sure that I have correct <laughs> Yeah, cool. Um, so okay. in the... Char Hollow Market, you, you, you so someone is like Eckerd. No, nah, he's not around here anymore. He works down in the Char Hollow Market at the moment. You you know where to find him. You're going to find him easy e easily now that you're now that you're going to like the right place. Excellent. Um, and Very I think good. that's a really good place to take our our Aww. second break.
and we can come back and like talk about what we want to do next now that we know where Eckerd is and score. what kind of score we want to do and all those sorts of things. And presumably how you're going to make it Charles Dickens themed. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> Don't um, worry, I got this. All right, we'll be back in a minute, team.